Sonia asked or says that they're finding that many people with autism are ending up in jail because they don't have anywhere else to go. In other words, they're having a mental health crisis, but the hospital won't take them. Um, a residential facility won't take them because they often say, we do mental health, we don't do intellectual disability, autism, we don't do people who are nonverbal. And so if someone's in crisis and needs help, they basically have to go to jail because there's no other treatment facility for them. Um, she describes it as a public health crisis and says it seems like a violation of ADA. And unfortunately, I completely agree with Sonia. I think that in many ways, the lack of appropriate treatment facilities for adults with autism and other disabilities is the root problem for why so many of them end up in jail. Why something like 30 or 40% of prisoners have a disability of some kind, even though it's only 10% of the population, there's no other place to put them. And part of that is the logistics of running a facility like that. I've been in severe behavior for over 20 years. I've been a director of those facilities for over a decade, and I can tell you it's really hard to operate and staff a severe behavior facility, especially if disability is a primary population, because oversight comes from so many different areas and there are so many liability requirements. If you want to operate a residential facility, which is required for the more demanding and complex cases like those mentioned by Sonia, there's even more difficulty in managing and staffing that facility. So the issue is both at the staffing and resource level for the facilities, but also at the state level to provide the funding to build that infrastructure.